Hi, I'm Lisa Johnson and I'm a business strategist helping you make money online. And today I wanted to talk to you about business models. Um, sometimes when people talk about business models, it feels like there are only one or two. Like people often say, well, there's the one-to-one -one business model, or there's the passive, semi-passive income business model, you know, courses, memberships, things like that. But actually, there are so many different types of business models. And I think where people get things wrong is they look at somebody who's already doing something online, a guru, if you like, and they say, well, they're making money that way. So I'm going to do what they're doing and make money that way. And they might go into a course that is a bit cookie cutter, you know, like, this is the way you should do things. But the reality of things is they might do that and then feel like it's not working as well for them or like they they can get there, but it's hard for them. It doesn't feel easy. It feels like they're trudging through treacle, trying to get the same results as this person online did. And I believe that's because people choose the wrong business model for them, for their personality, for their skills, for their strengths. They just see somebody else doing something and think that's going to work. But just because it works for one person doesn't mean that it's going to work for you. And even if it does work for you, I don't think you should be doing it if you don't enjoy doing it. You can find a business model that works perfectly for you. So the kind of business models that I've used, we have four or five different business models because I believe in diversification. I think it's really important that you never put all of your eggs in one basket. And also for variety, I like to do lots of different things. So I started out with the usual business model that people do, which is a one-to-one -one model. People would come to me for business consulting and I would consult with them. And so I would trade time for money. I'll get paid when I spent time with them. And then I realized very quickly that wasn't really the business model that I enjoyed. I didn't really like spending an hour with somebody. Sometimes I found that that whole, you know, spend an hour every two weeks with somebody package that everybody seems to do online. I felt that it wasn't just not the right thing for me because my diary was filled with these hours, I felt like it wasn't the right thing for the client because the client didn't necessarily need me at that hour. They might need me in between. They might not need me at all during that hour. And so it felt like we were both wasting our time. It just didn't feel good to me. So I stopped doing one-to-one -one in that way and I started doing one-to-one -one days. And that worked much better for me. And so then I added in a second business model. This was recurring revenue business model where I do courses, fairly low ticket things like memberships so that I could have recurring revenue and so that I could teach one to many. So lots of people at once. So I could impact more people, but also I could make a lot more money a lot quicker that way. And more than that, my skill set is teaching. So I really enjoy teaching people and I enjoy big groups. So because of my personality, that fit much better for me than the one-to-one -one model where I'm impatient. And so that didn't really work for me. And I like variety. And so having the same person every single week didn't work well for me. But you might be completely different and love the one-to-one -one model. It could be the thing that you live for. So your personality has to fit. And look at not just your personality, but your strengths. You know, what are you good at? What environments are you good at? But more than all of that, what you enjoy. Like if you don't enjoy doing something, there will be a different business model out there that fits you that you do enjoy. So what did we add next? The next thing we added was high ticket. Um, so lots of people talked to us about high ticket. And I thought for a long time that high ticket meant I'd have to do one-to-one. -one, but actually it doesn't. We do high ticket in masterminds and retreats. And you sell these in a very different way. When it comes to high ticket, it is different how you do things because it's more of a luxury um, offering compared to your other offerings. High ticket can work really well as an ecosystem, not just because you might make more money. And I don't believe high ticket, by the way, is just adding another zero, which a lot of coaches will tell you, you know, you're worth it. Just do the same thing you were doing for £2,000 for £20,000. Just add a zero on the end or a couple of zeros. I don't believe in that at all. I think that the value has to match what you are offering. And it has to be quite different to the other products and services in your ecosystem. But the reason it can work really well is the, the gold burger effect. So if you look, um, I think it's in New York, there is a restaurant where you can buy a gold leaf burger for $10,000. Now, not many people go to that restaurant 
and buy a gold burger for $10,000. But what people do is they go into that restaurant to buy a normal burger for £10 because they bought the normal burger from the restaurant that does the $10,000. So you can see it's um, people go there knowing that they could buy one for this. So they feel like they've got a bargain buying one for this. It's like a whole ecosystem thing. And so that's the same in your business. If normally you have a high ticket that is £20,000 and then you offer a course where you're learning the same thing with less of you in it, which is generally what happens, for £2,000, it feels like good value because they could have you for 20000 So it's just perception. It's about the psychology of selling at the end of the day. So you know, having high ticket offers can work well for you, but only if you don't mind putting more into it. Let's not pretend that it's right to not put more into it, to charge whatever you want to without more value. I don't believe in that. I think that goes against integrity. Um, people will tell you, just charge whatever you want. It's fine. I don't believe in that. So high ticket was the next thing we added in. I really enjoyed doing it. Um, especially because I still did it in groups and groups are the thing that I enjoy. And then we started adding in the agency model. So people were coming to us asking, who do you recommend? Because people wanted recommendations for people that had the same values as my company, the same integrity values as my company. And so they'd ask me, well, who would you use for this? And I was telling people, and then I realized that actually, I could start my own thing with the people that I would always use. And I could then make money on the top of that and make sure that everybody that we were using in our agency had the same integrity as us and were taught the same way. So I started out with a sales team, a sales agency, and then moved on to podcasts and um, then affiliate managers for affiliate launches. And now we're branching out into copywriters, tech VAs, and branding people. So having that agency model diversifies kind of your offering, but also what it meant is I could do the things I enjoy, which is working with people. Now I have to manage those people at the moment, but that, cause that's the bit I don't enjoy, but I like working with people and I like seeing people's skills. There are people out there that are brilliant at what they do and they're not great at marketing. So they weren't getting clients, but they were good at what they do. I'm good at the marketing side. So it then becomes a win-win situation. So they were kind of like all of the offerings we had. And then we added in one more business model and that was the evergreen model so that we could make money really passively and not have that feast and famine. So every single month, more money was coming in. So all of these different business models suit my personality, but there'll be other business models that will suit yours. But I think that the worst thing you can do is just look at what somebody else is doing and do it. Instead, look at your personality, skills, look at your strengths, look at all the different business models and see which ones would suit you because you want to design a life that you love, not another business that you don't love going to every single day. If you want to have a look, we've got some free workshops about all the different business models that there are. You can go to www.levelupwithlisa.co and you can watch the replays there. Eventually as well on that page, there will be a way to work with me to look at your personality type and then go into the type of business model that will work for you. And we will teach you exactly how to implement that business model. Remember, there are a million ways to make a million pounds. You don't have to do it the same way as everybody else. I'll be back next time to give you a bit more advice on how to make money online.